Hello everyone, my name is Shiny, and today I have morphed into Choso in order to showcase the blood manipulation inside Minecraft Jujutsu Kaisen. So, as usual, let me get off of the context first. I am using the Minecraft Jujutsu Kaisen mod made by this creator known as Orca, and if you want to play this mod yourself, I have put all the download links in the description of this video. Okay, so Sekkit Sojutsu. Technically, Norito Shikamo and Choso both are the users of this cursed technique, but I'm going to stick with Choso on this one because he has mastered the technique way better than Kamo, so I probably would make more sense to use Choso. Technically, not all the moves showcased in the manga and the anime have been added to the game, but it's still pretty dope. We got Slicing Exorcism, Convergence, Piercing Blood, and Supernova, which is not showcased here right now because in order to use Supernova, you need to activate Convergence. And another important thing that you need to know about Sekit Sojutsu is that you only start off with Slicing Exorcism at first. And if you want to unlock more moves, you have to become at least Semi-Grade 2, which then you get Convergence, and you get Piercing Blood. And once you have reached Grade 1, that's when you unlock Supernova. So it's quite a linear progression, so it shouldn't be too confusing for you to, you know, develop these moves. I forgot, being in the water is pretty bad for blood users. You sure. So, the very first move we got is the Slicing Exorcism, or Karibarai. So this is the move that Choso used during the Shibuya's like underground train station against Gojo, which didn't work because, you know, he has Infinity on. But yeah, let's showcase it first. So we just press the key Activate. And then we make this blood disc that just shoots towards your opponent. And this move... You can't charge it. No matter what you do, it's going to be the same amount of damage like that. And I'd say one of the best things about this move is that you can change direction after you have activated it. So we activate it here, change our direction there, and boom, we killed that skeleton curse. Uh, is, is that what it's name? I, I don't know what its actual name is. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically is for slicing exorcism. Not much to say. Karibarai. Quite simple move, but very effective. I forgot to mention, just like everyone else, you just have to select Choso in the Chris Technique Book Changer on the bottom right. So yeah, it's named after Choso instead of Kamo. Poor guy, man. He's He was the first to be introduced as the Blood Manipulation user and just got overshadowed so quick by Choso. Next, I would want to showcase Piercing Blood or Senketsu. So this one is the one he was mainly using against Itadori to cut through, you know, a bunch of buildings and Itadori had to do like a 50-50 to decide whether he's gonna dodge left or right. So if we use this, we charge up first, and then we shoot, and it pierces through blocks. So if we use it against... Yeah, if he use it against the building over there, you can see we have made a hole right through it. From here as well. Yep, we made a hole. And for this move, you can charge it. So if we hold down the button, our yellow particle is going to start glowing turquoise. And then it becomes way more powerful, and we even got double hit. Oh wait, triple hit! Okay. Let's see it. Fully charged. Triple hit. Okay. Triple hit probably is the maximum. So 231 times 3. That is 690 damage. Nice. That's that's actually big damage. What? Okay. So Choso. I mean, there's a reason why he was, you know, part of the disaster class. I don't think he is as strong as the others. Okay, maybe, maybe stronger than Dagon, we'd have to see. Ah, actually, Choso doesn't have domain expansion, so that, that's a very huge disadvantage. Would Choso be the weakest out of the disaster class? He might be, honestly, isn't it? But he'd, even then, he is still quite strong. So yeah, that's basically it for piercing blood. Next, I'm going to be using Convergence and Supernova as the same because when you activate Convergence, what it does is you get these two blood orbs that just, you know, follow you around like that. And then, now, we are able to select the move called Supernova. Convergence is Byakuren, by the way. And for Supernova, it's going to be Choshinsei. If I'm right, he used Choshinsei against Itadori as well. Did he use it against the... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna spoil any of the future manga fights. Okay, so, Choshinsei, all we have to do is just aim towards our opponent and then press the button. 
And then we just explode the blood into the ground and hit them. Which, it didn't seem like it did that much damage, honestly, did it? Yeah, I guess, honestly, despite the name, Supernova, honestly, isn't that strong. I mean, it does make sense because piercing bloods, you know, cost is high in the first place, but it's still like a good AoE attack because, you know, you explode a lot of your enemies in front of you. And I have a good test subject to test that right now, so let's use Byakuren. And then, get up here. Did, where, where did all your skeletons go? Are you serious? I, I swear there were like way more. Troll Shin Sin. Bro, bro didn't even die, okay. <laughs> this should be a better showcase of Supernova. Yeah, we just destroy everyone around in this place. And then of course we can use Piercing Blood. Charge it up. And sadly, Unlike in anime where, you know, he was like cutting through the different places, like holding down, you can't do that in this mod as of now. Shoot straight through, and then just cut people. So, i say one of the best things about Choso is his moves are very long range, so you can be quite a sniper with Choso's Chris techniques. So, those were all the Choso's Chris technique moves, so it's quite simple, easy to understand how his moves work. And as usual, I would like to end up the video of some fights, and of course, we should fight Itadori. And then I'm going to fight Geto Suguru, because, like, at this point, I swear, Every single character has fought Geto slash Kenjaku, dude. It's actually crazy. Alright, Itadori Yuji. My... Before I knew you were my brother, let's... Let's have a fight. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Slicing Exorcism. Nice. Wait. Sink it. We're gonna charge it fully up. Why is Itadori just, like, looking at us? Uh, um... Um... Yosh! Geto Suguru, technically, it's not you who I want to fight, but Kenjaku, but it should be fine. Alright. You know what? Normal physical attacks are not too bad as well. Slicing Exorcism. Let's try and cut that guy out. We just punched him all the way here. Very nice. Conversions. Ow. Senkits. Straight through. Very nice. This is perfect time for it. Supernova. Usual. Okay, get rid of all of them. Slicing exorcism. Very nice. Okay, let's get out. <laughs> Byakuren. Usual. So many, dude. Usual. Choshinsei. Punch all of these guys out. Ow, 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 ow. Calm down. We can punch this guy while charging. That did pretty. Did he just. Did Geto use his Maki against us? I didn't see. Okay, cut more. Let's get our conversions. Nice. Okay, the charge time is pretty long after this. Supernova. Man, his HP is quite huge. Run, 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 run! Don't get hit by it. Actually, I don't know what Uzumaki's range is. Uh, we came back all the way to the dummy place. Nice. It. Whoa! <laughs> Never mind. It didn't end. That could have been very really vital. Sink it. There we go. Nice! We got him! Dude, he destroyed the whole dummy place. My goodness. Get those. Get it. Calm down. If only Chosu could have just finished Kenjaku there. <laughs> Actually, technically Tsukumo was also there, but I guess we also had Urame. It's gonna be pretty hard. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did not know how exactly to use Choso. So yeah, I'm thinking of compiling the other characters left inside this mod that I haven't done. For example, you know, like Todo. I guess Inumaki technically I did it alongside uh, Okotsu, but 
Nahoya, Jinichi, Mei Mei, you know, these kind of characters that don't really have that many moves. I might like compile them together and do it in the near future. Spin the wheel is another video that I'm working on right now. Manhunt, I'm not too sure at the moment, but yeah, I'm, I'm still hoping that I can get a lot more content out and hopefully, you know, the mod gets back to getting updated in the near future as well. Once again, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye!